Hello and welcome back to another video. I am Angstashack, but you can call me Katie. Trying out a couple new things here. First off, I have a different microphone going for the next undetermined amount of videos. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you think I should change back to my headset microphone. I can easily do that. I will try not to breathe into my microphone anymore. I know I did that in a couple of videos by accident. I caught it pretty quickly. Give me a break. Now, we're also starting a new type of video on this channel. I'll be playing a game and chatting with you. For now, it's going to be Minecraft and chat. Because I don't know what else I can play without thinking too much. Or something that doesn't have some kind of dialogue that I have to pay attention to and let you guys listen to. A lot of these videos will be more in the lighter tone. Things involving life and dating and tips and tricks. That good fluffy stuff. Now some of it is going to be like what I'm doing today. Videos involving social justice and what's going on in the media. Things that are a little more taboo to discuss. I haven't decided what days I want to be posting these, but I really want to do taboo or tough topic Tuesday. This video is going up Thursday. No, I'm sorry, this video is going up Friday. I'm recording it on Thursday. This will go up on Friday, regardless of what I want to do. I'll have to figure that out after I post this. But enough rambling. On with the actual video. So I want to talk to you guys about something that's been called the BLM kidnapping. I personally think we need to rename it to a Chicago abduction. It occurred Tuesday, January 3rd, 2017. Technically, it began Monday, January 2nd, 2017, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's jump into the game. So, the gist of it is that a few people, for in specificness, abducted a young man or boy who knew them from school and beat him and verbally abused him and it was quite awful there are videos all over the internet don't look for them on youtube because youtube has basically pulled all of them down and is watching for them to be posted you can easily find them on twitter if they're still up i don't suggest uploading them to youtube you can get your account banned if you do so but anyway what happened was a boy, young man, was supposed to meet up with one of his acquaintances from school and spend New Year's Eve with them. Now this acquaintance is one of the four people who abducted him, which is quite unfortunate and awful. Somebody they were able to trust turned on them. That's quite horrible when you are special needs people don't generally trust easily, and when they do, it's very easy to lose their trust. Now, I don't want to go into detail about how, what happened, because it's graphic and it's horrible, and I'm sure the family has asked for their privacy, but more or less, the actions that occurred were one of the people stole a vehicle, that vehicle was used to pick up the boy who was attacked. They drove around in the car for several days and spent one night in the vehicle before going to an apartment owned by one or two of the attackers. That's not completely clear. And this person knew his attackers. So, the ages. This is kind of key, kind of not. Three 18 year olds and a 24 year old. The 24 year old is related to one of the 18 year olds. I believe they were sisters or are sisters. And the 24 year old was reported as being the one who abducted this young man. So, in an interview, the Chicago commander, Kevin Duffin, said kids make stupid mistakes. Well, I shouldn't call them kids. They are legally adults. They are young adults, and they make stupid decisions. 
if you are willing to excuse a decision that somebody has made because they are young, then you shouldn't be working in the police or sheriff area. Just because someone's 18 doesn't mean that they aren't capable of doing horrific things. Such as this, but not limited to this. Now, the boy is doing fine. Probably better than can be expected after what's occurred. But his attackers have been charged with a hate crime a felony aggravated kidnapping, aggravated unlawful restraint, aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Three of the four have additionally been charged with residential burglary, and one of those three have been charged with possession of a stolen motor vehicle. It's a hell of a lot of charges for something they weren't initially going to call hate crime. Now, if you've been on Twitter, you've probably seen the hashtag BLM kidnapping. It's been removed a couple times because Twitter is a pile of apologists, and if you're not familiar with that term, well, I'm sorry for you, because you, you really should be. It's the honest truth. I don't know why they get away with what they do. I guess we technically let them. But it's not alright to be filtering out the media. We need to just be honest about what's happening. So, a lot of people have been saying that the parents of these young adults failed to discipline them and failed to teach them respect. I'm not in any position to comment on someone's parenting, as I am not a parent and I don't think that's fair or morally right to be doing at this time. I would agree from the stance of another remotely young adult I certainly know better than to do shit like this, and I know damn well that my mother would not let me anywhere near her household if she knew I was doing shit like that. You know, some of you have probably seen that they didn't initially charge these young adults with a hate crime. Keeping in mind that Chicago defines a hate crime as an act of bigotry and they are committed because of the intended victim's actual or perceived ancestry, color, creed, gender, race, religion, sexual orientation, physical or mental disability, including HIV status, or national origin. Hate crimes not only harm the victim, but also the group in which the targeted member belongs. This is pretty easy to deem a hate crime. Was he attacked because he's mentally handicapped or mentally less capable? Probably not. He may have been sought out because he was an easy target due to that. That's potential. However, the ending portion where it says the group in which the targeted member belongs. This young man supported and or voted for Donald Trump. And it's apparent that that was one of the leading factors for these people in abducting and attacking him. Due to the fact that on video they say fuck Trump and fuck white people and then try to get him to go along and say it as well in addition to something about loving black people because apparently that's the opposite of loving white people you can't just love everybody anymore now i personally believe that everybody claiming that this is blm they're claiming it because of the fuck white people line that's a very easy thing to peg now, we don't have any evidence that they are members of the BLM movement. I don't believe we need evidence of whether or not they are part of the BLM movement. This is a disgusting thing that should not have occurred. 
and that's simple. If you are under the impression that it is okay or justifiable to attack somebody because of such a small belief, you need help. That's not okay. That's never okay. That's not how this country functions. And if you're going, well, this country doesn't function very well anyway. No, it doesn't because of that kind of ideology and that kind of activity. You want to play games like that? Pick another country. Don't do this on your home turf. Don't piss in everybody else's Cheerios just because you're mad about who won a presidential election. Be glad that you even get to vote. There are plenty of countries where you don't even vote. There are even more countries where not only do you not vote, but your opinion doesn't matter. Whether you vote or not is irrelevant. You want to say that our election was rigged, you can say that all you like. Doesn't mean that there's any evidence to back it up. It's another one of the many great things about living in America. You can say whatever the hell you want to say. And nobody's there to stop you until you're infringing upon somebody else's life or safety. Don't screw with other people. That's pretty damn simple. And if that's your goal in life, once again, pick another country. It's not worth it. We need to stop being regressive and start being progressive. I know how cliche and weird that sounds, but it's true. This kind of shit happens because we fall into the mindset of blaming slavery for things. The BLM radicalists, not the regular old BLM people, they're okay, but the radical members who act because slavery, that's another one of our major issues that leads to shit like this. You want to blame slavery? <laughs> You're about 150 years too late. What do you mean 150 years, Katie? Well, ladies and gentlemen. Slavery ended on December 6th, 1865. That's over 150 years. Not by much, but it's over 150 years. Meaning that you, your parents, your grandparents, your great-grandparents, and likely even your great-great-grandparents had zero impact and have zero impact from slavery. Not to mention the first slave ship docked in Jamestown, Virginia back in 1619, Roughly a year before the pilgrims even came to Plymouth Rock. So, if you want to point fingers, maybe you should be pointing back at Africa. God only knows why they sent them initially. I'm not here to educate you on that. That's not this video. I could probably do it, though. Lord knows I have enough content to. But you don't get to blame something irrelevant to your life and to your entire social construct. You don't get to blame that kind of shit for your actions. Take responsibility for the shit that you do. If you're gonna go out and beat the shit out of somebody because of who they voted for, then own it. At least own it and admit that you did something. That's all I can ask, because apparently it's asking too much of people to just not be assholes. God forbid we stop being assholes. But I'm not your mother. I don't want to be your mother. That's not what I'm here for. I'm just here to point out the flaws and hopefully show you guys something that you haven't heard about or that you don't necessarily understand. But this is the kind of shit that I don't stand for. Senseless crime? No thanks. Do that somewhere else. Now, I don't expect you to like, comment, or share, but if you do, thanks. If you're gonna be hateful in the comments section, I'm gonna do it somewhere else. Or hit me up on Twitter, I'd love to have a discussion about this. We can do it in tweets if you want to. I'll have that 150 character battle. 
That's not fun. DMs are better, but I'll do it publicly. So that's going to be it for this video. I guess like, comment, and share as you please. And I'll see you next time.